Hello there. I want to talk about running. I have great passion for the sport. I have been a runner for 25 years. I did the Boston Marathon three times, New York once, and Chicago twice. My PR for the 10K is 39 flat. But that was some time ago. Then all my injuries began to pile up. First there was plantar fasciitis. Then came Achilles tendonitis, and that was followed by shin splints that took forever to get better. Later came a horrible hamstring pull that makes me still wince every time I think about the pain. When I get injured and can't run, I seem to put on pounds faster than Kirstie Alley at a Taco Bell drive-in. So I keep switching running shoe brands to see if that will help. Puma. Nike. I sure like the old Pegasus. Brooks. Mizuno. Even Detonic. I once slummed with LA gear. But are running shoes designed to keep runners from getting injured? Or is it just me and my weak ankles and awful pronation? With that said, I still am not totally sold on the born-to-run minimalist craze that is sweeping across America. Or that barefoot is best. Some of these barefoot runners, with all of their wild-eyed passion, actually look, sound, and smell like they have stepped right out of the pages of the book of Genesis. I am never one for fads anyway. I still use AOL and drive a 1995 Buick LeSabre with over 200,000 miles. Please don't get me started on Five Fingers by Vibram. Nature did not intend for us to look like tree frogs and running singlets. Anyway, I just got the latest Road Runner Sports shoe catalog in the mail. Some of these new models look absolutely killer. They have more bottom surface tread than a Brazilian rubber plantation. And because I am on the short side and wear elevator lifts at work, I especially like running shoes with nosebleed heels. Like many of the 2010 Reeboks. Such a sweet ride. There is only one glitch. Right now I am out with an injury. I have acute patella tendinitis in the left knee. I haven't run since Labor Day. But that's the life of a runner. You learn to take the good with the bad. So anyone know of a sports orthopedic surgeon who is good with fixing knees? Thank you.